In the last video we looked at the non-inverting topology. Now we are looking at the inverting amplifier topology. Also here negative feedback is used, so the op-amp will try to keep its input at the same voltage. In this case the non-inverting input is grounded or zero volts. This means that in turn the inverting input is at zero volts too. This is called the virtual ground. This is a virtual ground and not a real ground because the voltage is equal to ground but there is no physical low resistance path to ground. The virtual ground is not a return path for current, it's just another voltage in the circuit which happens to be zero volts. Now why is the virtual ground so magical? I'll be trying to give a more visual analogy. Let's see the circuit from the point of view of the current flow from the source. Let's say that there is a voltage of 1 volts at the input of the amplifier. At the other side of the resistor there is a lower voltage, because it's the virtual ground, which is equal to 0 volts. The condition is met for current to flow. In this case 1 volts over 1 k ohms equals 1 milliamps of current, so the current happily travels towards the virtual ground. But then it finds out that the virtual ground isn't a real ground, so it has to go somewhere else. It sees the inverting input of the op-amp, but the input is high impedance, the current won't be able to enter. So all it can do is travel via the feedback resistor. But it is important to notice that current flow once again can only happen from a higher to a lower voltage. What is lower than zero volts? Well it must be a negative voltage. The current again travels through a 1k resistor, so by Ohm's law another 1 volts appears across that resistor, but as stated before, the voltage has to be lower than 0 volts at the output, which results in an output voltage of negative 1 volts. And after that the current can happily find a return path towards ground via the op-amp. If we take the textbook formula of the gain of an inverting amplifier, we can confirm that the output is indeed negative 1 volts.